Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 15 part video series showing you how to create JANKM Luxury Apartment. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So I'm, I'll be clicking on the new and then drop down, click on architecture template. For a newer version, you will have, you'll be able to choose uh, different um, units like metric and imperial. In this one, we're using metric. So press OK. So let's click on the save. And then here I'm going to save the file. So I've chosen the location of the file. So I'm just going to put luxury. apartment and then before I click save there's an option here where you can choose how many backups so for me um, if you're a beginner I think around 5 to 10 should be good so that you can come back to the file if you mess up with the current so here I'm just gonna put on 5 and then press OK and then save it here. So once that uh, we finish saving it, uh, you can check your units. So the way you do it is type in UN and then the units that we're using is millimeters. And then after that, we need to set up the grid lines. Um, this is important so that we can will be able to coordinate with each other. Plus, we need to set that up so that uh, we can add in all the walls and then columns, probably in the in the later videos. So now um, we're under architecture. The grid line icon is right here, and if you type GR, you'll be able to access that immediately. So now um, we're going to start for our um, vertical. So here I'm going to click on below and then above. Make sure you can see that there's an angle here. Make sure that's 90 degrees. And we're going to start uh, the number for the vertical. In some instances that depending on your location, um, it doesn't matter if um, you put letters or numbers here, but in North America, what I noticed that uh, mostly we put uh, numbers on the vertical and then letters on the horizontal. So that's something that you should check. Uh, also, that depends on the company. So I'm just going to press escape here twice. And then I could zoom in and click here. And once I click here, I'll be able to access the modify commands, which is right uh, beside my Tune Potion plugin. Here, I'll be able to click on copy. So the shortcut for that is you can type in CO. So that's the shortcut for that. And then from here, I'm going to grab this again. So I'm going to click it again and then put it on the right side. So once I start typing and then clicking on enter, it will lock in and it will create another grid line that is number two. And in sequence so now I'm, I'm just gonna go right here so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so that everybody can see I'm gonna type in four seven eight three so enter so now it will be number two and then because I didn't 
click multiple, it will stop like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in CO again and then grab it. So click it again and then put it on the side. But you want to make sure that multiple is checked. So click here and then click on the side again. And then here we're going to type in 4564 to three two six two five and then you want to make sure that you have enough room to go so now the next is type in four two five eight enter two four two seven enter three seven eight five enter and then pan out again and then put it on the side again because there's more five three Six six three eight three five enter. I'm just gonna pan out with my copy on the right side. So now the next is four seven five three two five zero four two seven. Three zero four two three seven six one five five. So now we're we're done with the vertical. We're going to escape twice, and then as you can see, this is the elevation tags. So we could select that and then just move it all the way right here so let's fix all of them later on and continue with horizontal so for the horizontal again we could just type in gr that's for the grid line once you click on gr you'll be able to add in and or horizontal like that but if we zoom in it's stating that it's number 16 green line so now we need to press escape and then escape again and then now we should click on the grid bubble Dub usually double clicking it and then you can put in capital A so once we start capital A below and then once we add more it will be B and it, it will be in sequence again so here I'm going to press escape I'm going to click on this and then CO that's for copy command which is right here and then grab it again and pull it down so I'm gonna pull it down like this so that we could just keep on typing so 2492 enter 3516 enter 3901 enter And then one eight zero five three nine five nine three five seven nine and then lastly we should just pull it down more 
it is 2369. So now we're done. We could press escape multiple times and zoom out. So what I could do is I could select this. So I'm selecting and then I'm going to hold on control button and select here so that I can select both of them. We could use move command or we could just use our arrow key from our keyboard. So I believe that's good enough in the midpoint. And then here I could just select all of this and then just move it backwards like that. So that's perfect. So now that we finish doing our grid lines on our level one, what we could do now is move on to our elevation. We're going to uh, set up our levels. So here I, I click on south elevation. I'm going to select this levels and then I'm just going to move it on the side so that it covers everything so I'm gonna select one if you notice there is a dash line like this that indicates that if I pull one of this it will pull on uh, uh, all of them so that's a uh, easy way to do that and as you can see as well here for the levels you'll be able to pull it as well so here I want to have my level 1 to level 2 as 4 millimeters so that's fine and then I want to create level 3 and 4 so here I'm gonna select level 1 and I'm just gonna create a copy Make sure multiple is checked. Grab it. And then type in 4000. So level 3 has been created. And then we need level 4. So another 3000. And you want to make sure that the, um, the grid line right here is more than the level or else once you go to that level it won't be showing the grid line so here just an example um, I'm gonna pull it down all the way to level 2 and if you click level 2 it's missing the grid line if you go back there and if you move it more than to the level it will be seen like that so just a quick uh, demonstration now if you notice level 3 and level 4 is missing on our floor plan the way that it will be shown is you need to go to view go to plan view and then click on floor plan level 3 and level 2 is um, available so now just uh, click on level 3 like that and then hold on shift command and click on level 4 if you have more level you'll be able to select all of them all together so now you just need to click on ok and then here it's not showing the grid line so now we need to investigate on other elevations. Here on level on south elevation, everything is um, clean and everything is showing. Let's check on north, which is the same. And then now on east, as you can see, this is missing or it's not onto the level. So now if we click on that, move it upwards like that. If we check on level four, 
it will be shown on all of them. Check on level or on elevation west and everything is good as well. So now let's go back to level one. Clean up so you could close all inactive views by clicking on this and all together it will be clean and you'll be able to just have the one that you have inactive. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to add in some dimensions. So the way we do it is you can zoom it like that and then click on dimension or DI. So you can type in DI and then you put dimensions on each of the grid lines like this. So I'm adding the grid like that. And don't worry, we're gonna move it more upwards like this. And then here we could just pull it downwards like that. And then here we need an overall as well. So you have the individual and you have the overall. Similar here, we need to add as well. So here I'm just going to move it a little bit on the left side so that we have more space. Here, it didn't go because it, it wasn't um, aligned like that. So now if we move it, it's aligned so everything will be moved. So now let's click on dimensions. And then add in dimensions like this in each grid line and then on the overall. I'm going to zoom in so that everybody can see and you can follow along as well. So we're going to stop here for now and continue in the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.